Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. Before we begin the show, a quick reminder to please take our survey. Just visit MikeOmeraShow.com and click the banner that says Survey. It only takes a few moments. It's anonymous, so your info is safe, and it helps us out a lot. Thank you, and now, the show. Available on demand every day in iTunes and the Google Play Store and around the world on MikeOmeraShow.com. What more can we do for you? It's the Mike O'Mara Show. <laughs> mm. <laughs> nice. What a treat for our video Thank viewers. You. Yeah, video. there you go. That's just for the video viewers. Just thought I'd do that. Uh, hi, everybody. Welcome to the Mike O'Mara Show. How's everybody doing? How's everybody's weekend? Everybody doing okay? That's great. Fantastic. Uh. Glad you're all doing well. What a fantastic uh. time. Uh. Yeah. Just great time down here in South Florida. Understanding getting some warm weather up back east, too. That's going to be terrific. Boy, so glad that you can experience what we experience down here year round. That's absolutely incredible. Absolutely <laughs> terrific. Fantastic. Great job. Good to be with you how's everything early spring early early spring, spring. <laughs> early spring. Finally. Uh, that's right finally. that's right because punk satani phil had a big boner <laughs> <laughs> oh, boner uh, well, means mistake oh, oh. yeah uh, interesting <laughs> so uh, that's the show now uh, so here's the thing um uh, chateau relaxo uh closed over the weekend and uh for renovations mike <laughs> Closed for renovation. Did you put up a nice. sign that said, pardon our dust? Pardon our dust while we are making a, making Chateau Relaxo a better experience for all of you. Uh, thank you for all of those people that uh, recommended the, uh, the GoFundMe for the air conditioning. Got it taken care of. Got it taken care of. Free money. Free money. Found the place that has the little package. Ah. We'd be finance it for five years sure. and no oh, interest. Good man. So you know what? That was good enough for me, and uh, we'll, we'll go into great detail with that. But uh, Chateau Relaxo, after Elizabeth left at uh, the crack of dawn on Friday, uh, you know, she's, she's gone. She made it to South Carolina before her car broke down. And uh, I'm just oh. here to say, glad you. That's okay. The other half is taking care of that part. So that's okay. Because she be crossed fine. the when you cross the Georgia South Carolina border, it's mm -hmm. on them, right? Yes, that's exactly uh, how it works. Actually, when you leave the Lee County border, that, that's, but, uh, okay. that's okay. A, Mike handles that, a lot of the local works. stuff. Right. Yeah, yes, that's that's the way that goes. But, but she's safe and there. okay in home, and everything's good, right? Yes, she texted me and let me let me know that everything was uh, uh, every a okay, and I uh, said thank you to the. No, I didn't. Anyway, uh, so anyway, moving right along, um, it is uh, it is it's been an interesting weekend uh, down here. Um, it is great that we are free, but uh, we will be discussing Chateau Relaxo and the fact that next year, I'd like to say this. I can probably say this to all of my friends. Uh, love having you, uh, friends. I love seeing you when uh, when it's convenient. Uh, as far as this home. This home, uh, if you want to see the size of the home that Carl and I live in, I recommend you get the pay-per-view of the Academy Award-nominated room. <laughs> and uh, that's how much space we have. And when you bring your illnesses and your love of vacation and your schedules to my home, uh, I'm sure if I was a larger person, if I was a more sympathetic person, if I was a kinder person, yes. I would have loved every minute of it. Not the case. Stay the F away from my house. I don't want anybody coming down here anymore. You know what that's I remember, it. Mike? Period. Family, that's it. Family comes through that door. The otherwise, there is a beautiful Hyatt. Uh, that's what those, I remember. Yeah, we second tier Hyatt. Hyatt. We had a nice, and you know what? We had great times together. We had a nice right. extended weekend. And you, you we visited. Stayed, we watched for TV. Hours? You hours on hours. end. It was fantastic. Hours. We drank. Then, we had fun. Right up the road, there was a beautiful hotel that had pay-per-view and a snack yes. bar. Snack. Everything you needed. Yeah. Everything yeah. you needed. And I didn't have the process of getting three teenagers, three college-age teenagers, <laughs> rousted in the morning and doing that. Now, that's now that's my daughter. Okay. And even I will go so far as to say my daughter, when she brings friends, that is a different enchilada. Mm. It's, <laughs> it's just too small. Yes. If we wake up one morning and the Mike O'Mara show triples our listenership and I and the gods smile on me, I will tell you I will buy a larger domicile down here. I will Excellent. do that. I'm not but I wouldn't buy even if that happened tomorrow, I wouldn't do it now. I wouldn't do it now because that bubble, by the way, that bubble that burst 
Got news for you, people. Just mark my words. You're about three years away from that mm-hmm. bubble doing exactly what it did. Because let me tell you about real estate and how real estate works. They are the greediest people in the world, and they are seeing the same exact thing happen that happened before. Oh, you want this? You want that mortgage? Here you go. It's exactly the same. They're Americans them out. don't learn from history. That's the way it goes. So uh, I'm not going to buy it right out. now. Not in D.C. at least. <laughs> well, What's no. that? <laughs> they're not you handing get... them out in D.C. <laughs> <laughs> Struggling with that mortgage well, a little bit, Oscar? it's called DTI, debt to income. That's they're actually okay. looking, Mike. Yeah, okay, they're, they're paying attention. I'm sorry. Maybe it doesn't apply to you. Well, I just, uh, <laughs> not everyone's you know, a disc jockey. This is fresh jockey. on my mind. This not, is fresh yes. on my mind. Mike, not everyone's right. a disc jockey with his work history, though. Yes, I this think is a true. lot of people might have you a easier go Look at Oscar's work history yeah. and yes. see. Yeah, that, uh, it's like a but, gypsy. But anyway, so I just wanted <laughs> to get that out of the way. Festively painted no, wooden wagon. No W-2. Just on the outside of town. Oscar comes in to get a mortgage and to fix any tin cans you have. Do you have any pans, any dishes that need repairing? I do that in my wooden wagon on the outskirts of town <laughs> i do I, I you know i i, I will take you through <laughs> after everybody so left true. and and there was a bit of a release as far as down here was concerned and as far as uh, uh you know m- dealing with people i i suppose it all came to a head on the weekend it was saturday Elizabeth had left at 5 o'clock in the morning. Bye, bye. I, <laughs> with her friend, uh, her friends, by the way, who were, continue uh, both of my daughters' incredible track record of being bringing the most wonderful, kindest, great with kids, just terrific kids down here, and I love that. You know, part, that speaks well of you, actually. Yes. Because you've well, raised her to sweethearts. hang with good people. Friends are flexible. We, we you had are. such a we had they're just such kind kids. And I and that's the you know what? That's that's all that matters to me is that she's hanging around with the you know, these are the people that hopefully will be lifelong friends of hers, and I'm thrilled for that. But once everybody left, I got up and uh was sitting at uh the the little corner of the room. Which, uh, which is my entire place down here. And it's a tiny little corner, which is called the breakfast sitting area. I call this a sitting area. Yeah, this is fun. This would be a great sitting area if you uh, were Vern Troyer. Okay? <laughs> Very if you were short. Vern Troyer. Right. Very little guy. Now, the little old lady that owned this house before I bought it, I'm sure she was extremely comfortable there because this is still her furniture that we're using. Yeah, she might be gone, Rob. I'm not sure. but She didn't die before here. you bought it. No, she didn't die before. Because oh, when you and, bought and it, so she was still vibrant. This little area, this little table that is just tiny. It's just like, a, as a matter of fact, the surface of the breakfast table is the size of a, of a shiny penny. It's that small. <laughs> it's that small. And the chairs are the chairs are little chairs you would see in a dollhouse. And right. we sit on these and we enjoy our breakfast. That's what we do. And so as I was getting up, uh, and oh, by the way, I should say that the death grip that was brought in by one of these people that visited, someone who was ill, brought it to me, mm. and uh, I got it, and I got it uh, full-fledged two days before Elizabeth left. And Creep I am and in crud, the throes yeah. of it right now, and that's okay, because, hey, whoop de effing do people get a cold, life goes on. However, what life does not go on is when I'm sitting in the dollhouse chair, <laughs> and as I, as I pull myself up from the chair careful not to hit my head on the gnome-like little light fixture that the elderly lady, and I haven't fixed this, by the way, in the dozens of years that I've been in this house. I haven't fixed this, but it's this little this little light fixture that hangs about four inches off of the table so that when I stand up, I hit my head on it more often than not. Every and time, every time. As I'm standing up, as I begin to stand up, Carla says to me, she says, you know, be very careful. Watch out for your head, and I and I and I jerk to my left, and suddenly, oh. and suddenly oh. I feel the lower part of my back. Mm. That's the sound that oh. I hear in the lower part of my back. Suddenly, there is shooting pain throughout my legs, both legs. I get tingling in my legs. I go down to one knee, and I realize that my wonderful, healthy back, which has endured hundreds of rounds of golf, and kind of is gone that it, it's literally gone i mean I, you know anybody that has back issues knows you know oscar you've had it they before. worst you know when you're effed it's you curtains. know when you are effed curtains. you know that it could be a it could be a week it could be a month yeah. it could be that's it you don't know and that happens so i'm dealing with this and i sit there and i put my hands on my head and i go oh my god no look there are people that have it a lot worse but at this particular time I am just sitting there going, oh, dear, oh, God. And I realize that I'm out of commission. So I'm out of commission 
all weekend long. That's it. That's it. Between the cold and, uh, you know, the, the, the nicest thing that my wife said to me was this morning when uh, she's taking my kid to school and she goes, your daddy's being quite the trooper. And I said, thank you very much. Not to mention, uh, I get the call from Costco. I am in the aisle at Costco. We're going to Costco. You know why we went? Why? Because we had nothing better to do. There was nothing better to do. I was not functional Turn it to into do an anything. amusement park, yeah. And I could lean on the cart and just walk around Aww. and occupy my time that way. And we get the call. And I'd like to wish, wish my mom the very best wishes as she went into the emergency room again last night. Oh. So that is that is that is what I would describe. And I'm sorry I'm venting Brutal. here, but that's Bad. what I do. That is the that is what I call the weekend. And I, you know what I've done? And you know me. I'm all about blame, right? I'm sure. all about blame. The blame that I'm laying is because we had too many people here. That was it. Too it, much was going it. So on. So no one's coming. Weakened no the one's coming. infrastructure. Yeah. yeah, it did. It's so much. that's it. No one's coming. But you would think, you would think with all of this in my life that I would not think about job number one, which is entertaining you people that listen to this show. But no, that's wrong. I think about that at all times. And that is why this morning. Thank you so much. That's sincere. That you, is why. Lou, you did not clap. <laughs> so uh, it was a three to one here. <laughs> that is why this morning I took the time to do something that I've never done that I've always wanted to do. But I was maybe because I was under the weather. I just felt like I'd, I'd take the time and do this. The drug companies that, that run that run the ads yeah. on uh, on the Today Show. And you're getting to see them more and more and more. You're seeing these drug companies run ad after ad after ad. And I decided that uh, I would go to the website and print out the disclaimer. Well, guess what? What? They don't write it the same way. They do don't mean? write it the same way. The disclaimer on the webpage for the drugs that they are hawking, and we'll get to them in a second here because uh -huh. I happen to have two of them, are not the same as the little rapid-fire broadcast spiel mm -hmm. that they give you. And by the way, when they give this to you, both the female narrators and the male narrators tone their voice down they do it in such a way as so you really aren't going to hear it so i had to go back with my horrible hearing mm -hmm. and and listen to it and transcribe it but i didn't give up i did it again and again and again now there we, would you like i can do either one would you like cosentix or would you like lyrica <laughs> lyrica well, let's lead with lyrica but before we do that what lyrica is by the way is for fibromyalgia does yes. anybody oh, know what fibromyalgia yeah. i got is? it what is horribly disease. have it it's horrible I Fib fibromyalgia is that it's something where it causes pain. Am I right about that? Chronic pain disease. Chronic pain. What is chronic pain what is the other yes. one? Mallorca? What's it called? Celeste? It's, uh, <laughs> it's Cosentix. Cosentix. What does that cure? Psoriasis. Oh Ooh. yes, mm. of the liver. Cosentix. Uh, well, no, no that's, cirrhosis. that's cirrhosis, oh, Oscar. For God's sake, <laughs> I'm not a doctor. MBA. <laughs> oh, but he was excited for a program. second. He yeah, was, yeah, I was like, "Hello, <laughs> get me on that." Stunned sister. that the University of Maryland didn't put up barricades when you got to, you know, say, "Don't let this man in." Cannot believe that. But Cosentix. Now, the the better of the two. If I was to look at both of them, and I'll flash them up here. Okay. Uh, the the better of the two would probably be Lyrica. Okay. So why don't we start with Cosentix? Cosentix. Now, <laughs> when you get these uh, disclaimers at the end of the commercial, they race through them, they and do. then they get to the back end of the commercial, which is a. Uh, find yourself again or something like that where there'll be a person in a canoe uh, paddling along and <laughs> or doing that. sometimes some sort of bouncing round thing animated yeah. something the, you know the, the, the one thing that drove they'll me they'll be the most knitting crazy. they'll be you know they'll be <laughs> hugging each other the sad egg. They'll, you know, they're, they're, they're yeah, doing the, nice things the one the sad egg the one disclaimer that really made me the most angry and it was for an expensive one it's the one that you now can if get, you're gonna give one now it's gonna ruin my mojo you know you're, right, you're gonna do that one. don't do don't that don't do that thunder no that's what he does though i mean are you are you gonna what's the i mean because you're gonna, gonna like say, list no, yours and then i was gonna say that what's bad is when the symptoms of of that they warn you are worse than what it's curing. I mean, and that's what you got to watch well, out that's for. That's the whole point exactly. of the bit that exactly. I'm doing right now, Mr. Man. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm giving you the whole deal here. I got the whole deal written down here, Wade. Okay, okay Wade. Wade, I want to mm -hmm. hear it, man. You're reading ahead, which you like to do, but this is right here on the printed page. Now they're they're all different, right? And I uh, look. I know we could do, um, but here's what I plan to do, and I commit this to our listening audience. Yes. I'm going to start a file. I'm going to save these. The Omera file. And then, and then when we do the mailbag, I hate 
putting ideas in people's heads. But <laughs> I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to do a couple of these a week. Okay. And I will stop the – and it's going to drive Carla nuts, as she did. She came out today, and she said, why is the TV so loud? I said, because they're whispering the disclaimer, and I'm trying, I'm trying to write the it The TV down, okay? is loud and repetitive because I am deaf and slow with a pencil. Right. That is so, why. <laughs> so they have these people that apparently have a skin problem, and then at the end of the commercial for the people with the skin problem, they read this. Very brief. Yeah. Relatively, but it's uh, it's like a forty seconds. And all right. uh, but I will give it to you. All right, do not use. Uh, this is for Cosentix. Okay. Now here's the thing. This the first one totally logical. Do not use if you are allergic to Cosentix. <laughs> they feel the need to say that. <laughs> well, they that. they feel the need to say this, but you probably wouldn't know unless. Unless you were. Exactly. Unless you if used you had it. in the past. So what type of idiot, what what type of ass-covering spiel requires you to tell people that may have had an allergic reaction to the drug before not to take the drug Mike, again? This, they're I catering, you, they're catering to the forgetful person it's, with psoriasis. Oh, it's the is lowest what common is? denominator. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Is this, that, that, or is it just that's, No, illegally? that's what they target. Yeah. <laughs> Let's now, here's sure. something that, that probably everybody should be. Before starting Cosentix, you should be tested for tuberculosis. Well, I think even if you're not going to take it, it never hurts yeah. to know if you got TB. Why not? Now, both yeah. these are pretty, you know, hey, if you're allergic to this stuff or you you might have TB, probably not good for you. That's okay. <laughs> sure. That's okay. Those are outliers. You're still on concerned. board now. You're still <laughs> I'm on board. board. <laughs> good boy. Then we get into the, the, the heavy stuff. An increased risk of infections and vulnerability to fight them may occur. Ooh. Oh, now anybody can go down and uh, you know replace the barn door and scrape that nail and maybe get an infected finger. So it the way I understand that's written, if you're on this stuff, your finger's going to fall off and be eaten by the dog. That's and the way I. That's the way I look. Also, at that. in the commercial, if it's like any other drug uh, commercial, I mean, if you're not bathing on a tub on the side of a hill, you're fixing yes. a barn door. Yeah, this exactly. is the kind of thing that a lot of paint scraping. So I'm I'm a little concerned about the infection, and then it goes on. Tell right. your doctor if you uh, have an infection or symptoms such as fever, <laughs> sweats, chills, muscle aches, or cough, or if you have received. A vaccine or plan to? I plan to. Oh. I plan so, to get I mean, a vaccine. You, don't you have to get vaccinated when you're going overseas and stuff? Like yeah. That? Well, you mm -hmm. get a flu shot every year. I mean, and you, you plan yeah. to do that each and every just year. Curious. Yeah. I'm just curious about that. Yeah. If you have inflammatory bowel disease, oh, hold Rob on, uh -oh. everyone quiet. Whoa. I want to listen to this. <laughs> Now, do you have anything that would be close to fibromyalgia? Do you have? That? Oh no, I'm sorry, psoriasis, Rob. Do no, you have anything no, that would uh, be close? To I that? have beautiful skin. If you have inflammatory <laughs> bowel disease, tell your doctor if symptoms develop or worsen. Serious allergic reactions may occur. I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to put it off to put the it, side. Put this it in the Omera file. My disclaimer, and I'm going to put Cosentix up on the top. Now, we move on to one that's been around a lot longer, and that's Lyrica. You've yeah. seen this. Lyrica. Sure. Sounds like something you would take a pill, and suddenly you would know uh, by heart every song ever recorded. Yeah, right? You right? That, that's what I would say. Lyrica. Yeah. Lyrica. Lyrica would be, oh, you know, oh, Frampton Comes Alive? I know the whole album. You know, <laughs> no problem at all. I take Lyrica. I take Lyrica, so I'm all set. Everything's fantastic with that, all right? Slowly Lyrica may way. cause... Yes, uh, <laughs> Lyrica may cause serious allergic reactions or, here we go, this gets heavy right away, or suicidal thoughts or actions. Oh, jeez. Mm. That's the first thing. That's out of the gate. They're telling you that out of the gate, okay? Tell your doctor right away if you have these new or worsening depression or unusual changes in mood or behavior. Okay, what? Fibromyalgia causes pain, so I'm pretty bummed about that. And then I'm going to take a pill that's going to make me even more bummed. Of course, I'm going to jump <laughs> off the Golden Gate Bridge if I have this stuff. What the hell is going on with these drug companies? I ask you that question. Bridge jumpery. That's one of the little stickers. It doesn't that make any sense to me. Pharmacy puts right? on it, sure. All right, let me move on. Or... And now, or. or. So they lump this in with the whole, you know, I want to cut my wrist. Oh, this is what uh, they call or, bundling, Mike. They're mm -hmm. bundling the they're symptoms. Bundling the, <laughs> the, 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 they're bundling the disclaimer. Right. Or swelling, trouble, just general swelling. We'll get to the guy at the baseball game that I've had that got problem. That. Uh, trouble breathing. Yeah. Rash, hives, blisters, oh. muscle pain with fever, tired feeling, or blurry vision. 
<laughs> Look, I'm going to deal with the pain. I'm going to play through it if I get a, if I get to worry about this crap. Common si- now common side effects. So I mm. guess these aren't common. Common side effects. So if you've got these, you wouldn't even have to tell your doctor. Just know this is coming on down the pike. This is the common side effects are dizziness, uh, sleeplessness. Oh, I'm sorry. That's sleepiness. Oh, I'd like some of that. That'd be great. Weight gain, (laughs) swelling of hands, leg, and feet. And then uh, then they move on to something where I'm out. I hope I don't get fibromyalgia. Don't drink alcohol while taking Lyrica. Oh, no. That, no. That, that, don't a lot of drugs tell you that, though? That's, that's yeah. okay, right? And I think that's more of a guideline than a rule. Mm-hmm. I've found. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and it says, uh, don't drive or use machinery until you know how Lyrica affects you. Uh, those who have had a drug or alcohol problem may be more likely to abuse Lyrica. Ooh. So I am saying today... That I take these, uh, I have Cosentix. Yes. I have Lyrica. Uh, I'll probably get to, like Vi- Viagra or Cialis. I'll, I'll add that to my collection. Yeah. And I'm just going to see how many I can get. And I'm going to drive my wife crazy because every time that little commercial comes on with the, uh, you know, with the people that are throwing the ball with the puppy in the backyard because they've got, you know, because their right nipples about to fall off, uh, I'm going to be fine. Yes, Oscar Santana. Uh, but, you said you knew something through business. Yes, about we're this. taking business law now. Yeah. Yay. Uh, and it sounds fun. <laughs> after uh, what was probably 15 hours just this weekend with the business law. We learned why we see so many ads, so many ads for these pharmaceuticals now. That we didn't no, never see, before. That I never knew. I never knew why they're all there. Well, I, mean, I, I would think you'd get recent. that through your doctor. Fairly yeah. recent. Yeah. Well, uh, when I guess Mike was growing up, and to a certain extent, we were growing up. Yeah. Rob, um, really, uh, pharmaceuticals really counted on uh, their patents and patent protection and that type of um, real trademark and copyright mm-hmm. protection. Yeah. Uh, protecting them from threats and other people coming in and taking care, taking their market share, right? Uh-huh. What they're realizing is that so many people now and the limitations of your patent because they have a lifetime um, start getting used to brand names and the branding is becoming more powerful than actual patent protection because so they're branding the medicines in general. Just like you know that you're going to get a Kleenex and or maybe if you're going to go out. And uh, you want to Xerox something, right? That right. When right. you start talking about these drugs, you start using the brands, then you become brand loyal to those drugs. So you're willing to pay the premium wow. when you go to the pharmacist. So instead of getting just the generic, yeah. you're used to your brand. So you, so double you get down it your out brand. there. You mm. get it out there like yes. a Viagra or Cialis. Yes. That's why they had it and, and then they started you, out. So and when they the were patent runs it. out in 20 years, the generics come online. You still go with your go-to brand because that's what you grew up on. And that's why, of course, uh, and I'm glad Oscar brought this up mm-hmm. because, uh, well, we'll talk about this in the body of the show. Oscar's introducing a new drug to the market that I think everybody can enjoy. It's called Misogynex. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Michael Mara Show. You can listen to the Michael Mara Show at <laughs> www.michaelmarashow.com. Stay tuned for an outstanding entertainment program. <laughs> it's the Michael Mara Show. Let's get down to business. From the entertainment capital of the world. Amir Bakawi. Number six on the 10 list. This man is responsible for more deaths than the plague. Sells arms to every failed state in the world. He has a vast array of connections. Terrorists, mercenaries, corporations. Mr. Vice President, it's Bakawi. Put him through. Thought you might take my call. You'll understand if I made it difficult to track. You have me at somewhat of a loss. I thought you would have learned a lesson by now about crawling out of your hole. I've never lifted a finger against you. You armed those who have. I sold triggers, Mr. Trumbull, just like you. What do you want? Your president. You can end this right now. Just hand him over. That's not going to happen. Then every death from this moment forward will be on your head. It's the Mike O'Mara Show. Mike O'Mara, Rob Spiewak, Oscar Santana. And now, from his office chair, here's Mike. 
We are coming to you live from the Cappy Fiber Studio in the heart of our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. This is the Mike O'Mara Show on the air and online worldwide. The Mike O'Mara Show is a daily radio show and podcast with the greatest listeners on the planet because they get it. And if you're here, you do, too. Let's face facts. Your company is only as good as the people you hire. It just sounded like Bill O'Reilly. Yeah. <laughs> Let's face facts. Your company only as good as the people you hire. <laughs> Come on, Donald. Donald, you can talk to me, Donald. Uh, but hiring the best people isn't easy. You can bet there's other companies out there trying to get them first. It's the way it works. You want to get people to hire. You know, you got to get people to go work for you. Listen, you, you want to just you want to just lie around and not get the right people, or do you want to get ZipRecruiter.com? Okay, uh, ZipRecruiter.com. Why don't you do things the right way? Why Why do you continue to do things the wrong way when you can do it the right way? Here's someone that can help you. Trust me. One single job posting, not going to find quality candidates you need. And if you're already short-staffed, you don't have the time to deal with dozens of different job sites. Thanks to ZipRecruiter.com, you can post to over 100 job sites with a single click and be instantly matched to the best candidates from over 6 million resumes. 6 million. Okay? That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot. I was telling Megan <laughs> Kelly about it just the other day. Just one post, and within 24 hours, watch your candidates appear in ZipRecruiter's <laughs> easy-to-use interface. Uh, ZipRecruiter, 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 ZipRecruiter. You want me to say it again? I'll say it again. Doesn't bother me. I can say it again. I can say it many times as I want. ZipRecruiter. <laughs> you can try ZipRecruiter today, and it's free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash TMOS, all right, and uh, get started. Try it for free right now at ZipRecruiter.com slash TMOS. <laughs> right here. <laughs> right here. Yeah. In a no-spin zone. Yeah. Dayquil. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> there we go. Yes, sir. Uh, throughout this uh, very odd weekend, uh, there was a moment of pleasure. Even though I was in a lot of pain and I had a bad cold, I still, you know, it doesn't require any effort. All you have to do is get yourself from the car to a spring training baseball game and sit down. Uh, and how and is the weather for spring training? Now the weather started? is absolutely glorious. Wonderful. Hope springs eternal with my beloved Boston Red Sox. You know it's my happy place, and nothing was going to prevent me from going to the old ball game. <laughs> and I will tell you, one of the things Carla said to me, and she's very honest about my weight. She really, really is. And she said... We sit down in the uh, stadium, and she looks at me, and she says, a little better, right? I said, what do you mean? This is like five seconds. We just sat down. First time. A little better, right? I said, what? She said, your weight. I said, what? Your weight, you know. I said, oh, yeah, I mean, I'm not spilling over into you. Is that what it is? <laughs> a little better for her. Is, yeah. that the, is that the point? You know, she's trying to. And we went on, and uh, there's a cute little uh, kid who's an Orioles fan in front of us with his uh, M&M father with his two in earrings and all his jewelry. And, uh, you, know, I, you know, I just I just looked at the guy. And, uh, you, know, we, you know, when you try to engage, say, we're from the D.C. area. Okay, thanks. Uh, I'm from Frederick. Okay, nice talking. And to no you. interest nice, at all. Nice earrings. No, no, they're just <laughs> day, day. So I'm guessing That's why it I, was... I really because the cold. I want to look at the person and say, "Hey, try to make a little conversation." Day, day. <laughs> so it's Red Sox Orioles in the spring training game. Red Sox Orioles, and um, there's a couple, another May December style romance. One row in front of us, two rows in front of us, and uh, maybe six seats over. Okay. So we can see them diagonally. We can see them and the nice looking couple. We hadn't paid any attention to them. The reason they come into play is that a man arrives with it was either his mother or it was his wife. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> he appeared to also be younger than him. So he's going to be sitting in front of the May December couple. And the guy looks about Early seventies and the ladies probably late fifties. Okay. But there's a there's a significant age difference and the ladies pretty well put together. Mm -hmm. The man who arrives, this is approximately three rows down from us, is, I would estimate, and I'm being conservative, that he has seen four hundred and fifty pounds. That that wow. might be that might be in his rear view mirror. I don't want to say, I think when you're talking 500 pounds, you're talking about an oddity, right? I mean, you're talking about something that really almost you can't be ambulatory. So yeah. I'm going to say probably in the fours. Okay. He is probably one of the largest men I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. 
at a baseball game. Tallish? Uh, is he tall? Is he in the? He's mid- tall. So he's just he's, big. he's as wide as he is tall. He's large, and I'm a large guy. Sure. So I've been to the ball game, and I'm just looking at this. And the, the the fortunate thing is that there may be four seats. I don't know if they got four seats, but they may have, right? And so he comes and he's he's getting ready to sit down, and <laughs> getting he, ready. He is directly in front of the woman who is in her late 50s, very nice-looking lady. He, Before he gets down, he reaches into his satchel. Why always satchels? Why is it the fat people bring stuff? They have, like, you're, it's practically a suitcase that he is bringing to the old ballgame. I, at this point, and Carla's right with me, we have, the, the game is no longer even on our radar. We are riveted to this. Sure, this a, is a we show are is staying. about to happen, Mike. A the show. woman is probably two ninety to three hundred pounds. Whoa! She mm. looks like she seriously looks like she's an oompa loompa next to this. <laughs> okay, ball, right? all right. They both are wearing khaki cargo shorts. <laughs> that and uh, and I would describe the fabric on both shorts as going. No. <laughs> There's a word, Mike, in the clothing industry, distressed fabric. And a lot of times it means that it's been aged. But this is fabric that's literally in distress. I'm a fat guy, okay? I'm a fat guy. I I understand fat guys. I understand this. And I'm not, this is not in any way designed to, uh, everybody go to the game, have a fantastic time, be comfortable. I'm just observing what happened and I'm reporting it to you. This guy reaches down into whatever satchel he was getting into. And when he reaches down, his tie-dyed T-shirt rises up and his khaki shorts go down a little bit. And I'm seeing about four to five inches of You Crack Me Up. Wow. Right? And that's I, a lot. That's a hell that, of a show. Mm-hmm. That's okay. That's Time a, for but, but, and, <laughs> I'm seeing this. I'm seeing this. Well, that's for fibromyalgia. Oh, I know. That's great. And I'm, uh, you know what? And then you would think it couldn't get any better. One would think. <laughs> but it did and then i'll and look i'm a big man uh, uh you know i work with big men oscar uh, you know uh, rob is a big man and you know we're i'm just saying i love everybody i just i felt a little bit for the lady in front and uh, i'll tell you why when we come back you are listening to the hunky dory monday mike o'mara show in the place they call vacation land we measure time by how well you spend it Here's broadcaster Mike O'Mara for Maine. I've never seen anything like it. Roads that have trenching in them, that on a main drag, on a main drag when, when I'm driving around, that actually thrust your car in one direction or the other. The state of Maine <laughs> is absolutely uh, just wall-to-wall with horrible roads. Uh, okay, thanks, Mike. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure those roads travel through some beautiful scenery. And I'm talking about we went through about 40 or 50 miles of nothing but pine trees. Well, that sounds nice. <laughs> Half an hour goes by, and then you realize that you're just on a little two-lane road in the middle of nowhere. Okay, thanks, Mike. Uh, I think maybe there was a paper mill somewhere where this horrible smell from outside came into the car. Okay, let's just wrap this up, Mike. It's a beautiful place to be. It's gorgeous up here. I love the temperature. I love the moose. I love all the crap. All right, come to me. You'll love the moose and all that crap. <laughs> you know the speeders are really horrible up here, right? <laughs> oh my god can i do a shout out and a thank you to listener yeah, greg wilson coming. these, li- these wow. listener promos that, that's gonna be our mo i love those i love They're them fit. too thank, thank you who did that rob greg wilson and he d- he just did a oh, bang up job on that good no. job god. oh my god that's too Come funny to welcome back <laughs> vacation land <laughs> welcome back to the mike o'mara show brought to you by headspace be honest most of your problems start in your own mind, whether it's fear, anger, the stresses of the day. Our listeners in the Washington, D.C. area and around the rest of the country, you know, just sitting in traffic can you know, drive your st- yes. stress level off the charts. It doesn't have to be that way. You can make a major difference in just 10 minutes a day. I want to tell you about guided meditation with the new Headspace app. 
Headspace is meditation made simple. It's like a uh, gym membership, only for your mind. Guided meditations that you listen to. They take you right through it. It can take you to a happy place very quickly, whenever you want to do it, wherever you want. Right now, uh, you can do it on your phone, tablet, or computer. Meditation has been around for so, so very long. When I did my own meditation with Headspace, I sat on my couch. Uh, The little guy was at school. Carla was out working out, and I had my house to myself, and it was a beautiful moment to go through the Headspace program. I really enjoyed it. You're going to love it if you try this. Join over 5 million users already getting some Headspace for free, and you can do it right now. Download the free Headspace app and begin their Take 10 program for 10 days of guided meditation at headspace.com slash TMOS. The Headspace Take 10 program, a 100% free way to experience the benefits of meditation in your busy modern life. Train your mind for a healthier, less stressed life. Start your free trial today at headspace.com slash TMOS. That's headspace.com slash TMOS. Get some Headspace today. Uh, let me just wrap this up with the base Baseball game, and then we will get on to uh, the uh, the the two compatriots of mine, uh, including one who got his daughter uh, nose piercing this week. No, I, no, she's had it pierced, but it's oh, okay. a, well, I had we'll, to we'll ride to, to visit it. You see, it was All what right, happened. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, and then I want to see how really technically married life is treating Oscar Santana because it has it has it. begun. Uh, sure, nothing's but, uh, changed. <laughs> let me let me wrap this up. So uh, the 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 two couple were riveted because just the size and. Uh, we would have, it, it would have, look, you see a little crack, that's fine. People bend over, you know, the shorts are a little uh, sag down a mm. little bit. No problem. I'm sure that's happened to me before. That's not the story. He sits down, and at this point you see, you know how the baseball chairs have little slats? Yeah. With, uh, with the separation in between? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so he sits down at the, the, the baseball stadium seat in front of the lady, And as he wedges his body in, you see the crack go uh, down between the slats. And at that moment, oh, no, a large droplet of sweat squeezes out from his ass like a sham. (laughs) Wow. Like a sham. Wow. Perfect. Bingo. Bingo. Bango. Because and proceeds to do. (laughs) There's so much pressure. That oh. the sweat is defying gravity. It's well, yes. traveling uphill. It it, it it's squeezed not out and you see it run down slowly the slat that is a uh, you know you know what it's like in a ballpark, right? Your yeah. your, your your knees are up against that and we start looking at this woman and you see her start talking to the guy and Carla leans over to me and goes, You know they're talking about that. I of said, course. Oh, God, we're 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 20 yards away we're looking at it and we see it <laughs> and you see and oh then the God. woman proceeds to take her camera out no! and <laughs> she takes a picture <laughs> of this, <laughs> this moment in time and uh, that was it that was you know what they, we went on to watch the game everything was fine there wasn't a lot of movement but it was uh, at the old ball game that's uh, that's the way it goes hey, you know I would say my general perception of people in general uh, it's still a pleasant experience. People are having a good time. But by and large, any time now that I go to any kind of sporting event, my perception is it's a little less civil. It's very subtle, but a little less civil. People are into their own game, and that's it. Probably been that way for a long time. It just seems to me there's less interaction baseball it's kind per- of quiet you baseball know what i mean is a very social sporting event to go to if you go to and a it's football not game anymore. there's it's more not. more action at a football game more action at a hockey game you're going to be less inclined to like strike up a conversation with someone mm-hmm. who's next to you and i have a yeah, this, limited uh, you know, experience this... but enough to make this generalization yeah but yeah. at um, a spring training game i would imagine there's probably more diehards too because they're already going to that spring training game unless they're it tourists. Is, you've been there you guys have been to the yeah. games and, yeah. and uh, did we didn't we go to like a uh Dominican game where yes, they were going that was the one crazy I went to. It was an evening game, but the that was so much fun. Yeah, well, they went crazy. That's an outlier with all that. because it's my people. Well, yeah, and yeah but they, they Oscar were so, pitched two innings. Yes, yeah, I did. would. I would. If it, it, I tell you, if the uh, enthusiasm level could be like that at every game I ever went to, it'd be uh, fantastic. I mean, you wonder about the game. You really do. You wonder about the you know spring training baseball is mellow, mellow, mellow. But it's just not. Uh, there, the, the, there, there are a lot of people that have been there for a long time. That's there was the a headline this weekend that was on Bloomberg Business News. It mm-hmm. said 
Uh, MLB is gearing up to be social this spring training, and I'm listening. I'm like, all right. All right, it's interesting. It's a what step. did they say They about said uh, they're allowing their players for the first time to post on Snapchat from spring training to attract a younger audience. <laughs> 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 that's your big move? Boy, <laughs> that's, that's a problem. That's your big that's, move? That's problem city if you got that. That's going to save it really, the industry, Mike. No, they, they don't. The players don't really want to be there. It's obvious. Mm. They, they want to go into the batting cage, tune up their game, but there's not. They have to deliver something more. The fact is, I'm paying for a ticket. There are other people there paying for a ticket. I think they need to inject something into it. And Steroids. it is, oh, no. it, you know, it, it, it's something where I just think there ought to be more <laughs> on the line. I know you can't do it. It's, it's, that's why it's preseason yeah. baseball, but it just. Uh, we need a McGuire you know. Sosa once again. Yes, we something need that. That can, we need, with, something with national import. Like the, they, guys with the Michelin man come <laughs> roaring. In, uh, they ought to. They ought to do what that. What if we put uh, the players on Yik Yak? Yik Yak. Yeah, it would be something hot. Something uh, hot we, now. we would be remiss if we did not mention, though, as we uh, go to tape this show today, that uh, over the weekend Nancy Reagan mm-hmm. passed away, oh, and yeah. uh, she of the oversized head and the pixie-like body that uh, we used to say on the old Don and Mike show, and. Uh, you know, brought back a lot of memories of that whole era uh, for me back in the day. We were the uh, the only president, by the way, that invited uh, either me or Don or both of us uh, to the Easter egg roll, the Reagan administration. I and remember then, uh, that. Uh, Don, uh, you know, writing on the wooden eggs, Joe Blow, probably prevented us from ever uh, getting the, uh, the, the return invite uh, to that. But uh, I remember it was kind of a... Big deal back in uh, Still back a big in the deal day. these days. Yeah. You know what? I, I, I really struck me when they were doing all the tributes today, and they were lovely, and she did a lot of great things and sort of reinvented the position of First Lady. But, God, how bad was our video technology in the early 80s? Oh, absolutely. Every piece of, because, you know, absolutely. it was after film and before high def or really good cameras. All the stuff looked like it was someone that had dug out a VHS tape from their Our basement. God. Yeah, it looks it's amazing how fast out. it's happened. How fast yes. that has actually uh, gone down, and uh, the you know the technology and all that. And uh, you know, I, I I'm I'm living that right now with the uh, you know having the uh, a parent who's that age, and it's uh, it's the part of life, but it's uh, sad. And so that kind of got me choked up looking at that over yeah. over the weekend. But really, uh, you know what I can do without, and and I'll say this. Yeah. Uh, we, we've moved away from the idea where if you're devoted to another human being, uh, that it's somehow something truly special. We've, we've moved into that zone where you have to qualify that now. You have to say, you know, I don't want to be, I think even Ron Reagan uh, Jr., mm-hmm. you know, the, uh, the son, the young son, might have qualified it when he was being interviewed by Matt Lauer, where we have to say, you know, uh, you know this might seem anti-feminist. Don't qualify it. The, the, you oh. know. I'm sorry. I think it can go both ways. They were, uh, you, you could, I don't care what your politics are, they were unquestionably devoted to one another. And she was known in that White House as, uh, you know, I'll give a negative, the, you know, the dragon lady. You remember sure. that, that term Absolutely. that was used. Yeah. Where, you know, where, where, where her modus operandi was just defending him. And you know what? And, and the fact is, that's what it was all about. I come from a relationship where... I was at nine years old. I'll never forget it as long as I, I, I live. My mom set me aside and said, I love you and your sister more than anything else, but I will always love your father more than anything in the world. And, and I remember she basically told us that. You know, and was, it was interesting hearing that. Yeah. Those days, it seems now that it almost has to be qualified. And uh, I don't know. It's a, it's a different time back in the day. You don't want to have an abusive situation where no. one person takes advantage. But those days, you know, it just doesn't seem like if a woman wants to say or a man wants to say, I am just, you know, I live through this person. Uh, that's all I'm about is supporting that person. It's somehow a bad thing. That was her life, and it was his life, and they t- they had that, and I think it, I think that throw all the politics out the window. I think that was very special about their relationship, and I and I you know looking back with a with a softer eye on it now, uh, you know, and taking politics out of it, I think that you know that's kind of cool. It was a it was a unique relationship, I think, and when you look at it, you see this that she was uh, his biggest cheerleader, a motivator, a lady yeah. that really helped propel him into she politics. She also had her own agenda. She worked. She did, but she also was totally supportive of him, and she walked a thin line that way. And you don't see that much. Don't I mean, get on her bad side too. If she thought that somebody was, uh, you know, uh, bad for old Ronnie. Yep. Uh, that person was uh, S O L. That yeah. was that. I, I, 
out of here. <laughs> That's the Get way out of here, you. you know. yeah. But uh, safe home, uh, Nancy Reagan. We're going to take a break. When we come back, I want to hear about nose rings and uh, see how <laughs> how engaged life is treating everybody. And uh, lots more fun and more thrills, everybody. Oh, and I'll uh, give you a little golf fantasy update, too. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll take a break. <laughs> Come back with more on the Mike O'Mara Show. Baby, you can drive my car. Yes, I'm going to be a star. Baby, you can drive my car. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show, brought to you by Betterment. Not Bitterman. No. Betterment. Betterment. Okay. Betterment. Now, if you go back and you watch the old, uh, you know, the 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 old movie with Dudley Moore, Arthur, Arthur you know, yeah. Bitterman was his driver. Huh? Betterment <laughs> is a wonderful financial service that I want to tell you about. Whether you're a multi-million dollar investor or just starting out, Betterment is the answer for you. They have created a smarter technology to automate investing. And this is really a great way for people in our listening audience that want to get started with investing. This is the best way to do it. They can help you make better financial decisions, invest for your personal goals, and stay on track for retirement. Betterment is the easier way to invest. You can do it at a fraction of the cost of traditional investment services. Plus, Betterment will offer you advice. You tell them what your financial goals are, and Betterment will give you actionable steps to get there, even taking into account your non-Betterment assets. It's streamlined approach to investing. It's it's automated, rather. It's less expensive. It's easy to use. Time to take control of your financial future. Betterment is the largest automated investment service, managing billions of dollars for people just like you. So you need to get involved in this. You can get up to six months of automated investing free and more information when you go to betterment.com slash TMOS. Again, that's betterment.com slash TMOS, B-E-T-T-E-R. M E N T dot com slash T M O S. Betterment is investing made better. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara show. Oscar, how's engaged life treating you? It's uh it's great. I love the fact that people they're kind of to ask like yeah. how's it going? Mm-hmm. And I said, Yeah, it has to, I think we all realize that maybe now yes. the rules the rules have changed. They haven't. Bit. It's just actually become I think much calmer in my house because there's no question at least there's no anxiety on my She's end. not behaving like Spalding and Caddyshack. No, and I want a s I want a hot dog and I want a hamburger and I want a turkey. <laughs> the sandwich best and part I want- You'll get nothing and like it. Of being engaged <laughs> is that Nothing has changed for us, and okay. I, I honestly thought, and look, we're week week two of this, right? Actually, one thing has changed. She's her hip hurts from uh, the extra weight of uh, the ring uh, she's yes. carrying around. This is true. This is true. I had thought that something would have changed, but for me, no. What well, I'm curious about yeah. that. What did you think? I uh, thought you know? that somehow, like, there was going to be some certain expectations that were going to change of me uh, from other people and her. But nothing okay, has changed. Okay, explain that, yeah, though. Explain so what, what did you think? You thought that, that, that perhaps that people would think that you were – well, obviously, you know, with your battle royale over the weekend, uh, Johnny Misogynisto yes. uh, with, with Just everybody. Just trying to make there. America great again, Mike. Just I know. You, I understand well. that. Oh, Mike, that remember when you line. asked for I a – I hinged uh, my jaw when I read that. To you me. wanted a sound <laughs> effect for Oscar's misogyny? <laughs> Yes, absolutely. I have one for you. And we oh, this not, is Oscar's misogyny. We okay. have not; it has not reared its head yet. And with your approval, I would like to go with just subtly in the background when he does something particularly or notably misogynistic. We <laughs> <laughs> just brief, mm-hmm. just brief. That's perfect. Yeah. That's absolutely yeah. perfect. I like that. Uh, so I, I just think people would think that maybe you would be. It's not going to happen that quickly, but you know, as everybody says, you go from the the single successful Mike. guy to uh, you know you're the old married hey, couple. You don't go out. I'm as, a don't single know, successful. You don't go out guy. anyway we since were, you hold, we did were, the whole NBA. We bro. were blessed because I think the NBA really set the tone of we don't have time for things to change. Right. Because Friday and Saturday, I'm cooked. There's nothing I can do. She was kind of. The wheels are in motion. Yeah, the wheels. The train has already left. Right. So right. We, we are on this train till well, we get to Union Station. You're at the right time for this. Yeah. You're you're at that right time to you know to do that. You know whether you decide you want to be uh, you know you want to do the family or stuff like that. It's good to like the the NBA has has prepared your uh, slacker friends for the fact that uh, you know you can't be at their beck and call and socially all that the time. Bingo bango. There's no, hey, man, I'm doing married ass, like I heard from one of my friends when they got married. Right. We, right. He, he was hanging out with us all the time. They get married, and we call him, hey, man, come on over. We're going out. Mm-hmm. Right. He says, I'm sorry, man. I'm doing married ass. I'll talk to you later. Like One of the reasons, by the way, I'm telling my daughters, and I will tell my son, 
you know, you got, don't make the same mistake I made. You got all the time in the world. You can wait till your mid thirties to take the plunge because you know what, when you're in your twenties and you see your guy, you know, there are too many guys and, and women out there that are still out there and you probably want to do that. Would and that be fair? About I think so. Yeah, you're you, growing you, up. Well, you think it's the time. If you say you get married <laughs> at 25. <laughs> <laughs> you got married at 25. At the time, you? Mike, it seems like I got like married the right... at 25 too, Rob. Yeah, we have, but just once. You know how that worked out. <laughs> True. But you right. think, because you know what? If you are looking around, it seems the right step. It really does. Many people. I got people... married at 35 too. <laughs> wow. Well, how about you? Mm, Look yeah. at you. <laughs> yeah, or but, 32. I don't know. I got married <laughs> twice. I was too young both times, to be honest with you. And then too old. So you never yeah, and quite, now too old. You never quite now got too it old. right. Could you? No, but, but make no mistake about the fact. My my marriage on my end, I'm not going anywhere because I know that you know this will not. I will not be uh, Jack Kent Cook. I I don't have that chip. I don't. I I don't. You have to have more money than Jesus. You know. Dude. I got nothing going for me after this. You know. So I'm. I'm not Carla, much done. please stay. Yeah. Uh, Carla, I realize that I've been mean to you, but please, for the love of God. Don't go anywhere, I, please. But uh, but just to close the yes. the book on this, at twenty five things happen. Your 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 car insurance goes down. You feel like you're a true grown up, and if you well, have a job, I, you think it's right. But you know what? Maybe it rushes. I got lucky. I did. I, I absolutely got lucky with it. You're a happily married man. I you am. Are, so. I am a better. Remember when she went to Japan? I uh, remember. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it was a great week. <laughs> he'll never talk. He'll never no, talk never, about the fact. We will. We will know. always know that that was her weekend, and she came back to. Him. Thank God, but that was the one that we will always know that that was the one that could have gone either way. Okay, well, you know that was that was the one. That's the one that could have gone in the other direction. I gotta 100%. go see about a dreamboat. He lives in Japan. That's right. And That's then, right. And yeah. you know what? I said, well, let's just be Tell sure. Tell the kids I love them. I'll be back when I when I'm back. If That's I'm back. it. Buy the yes. tickets one way at a time. But she did come back and. You know what? Right. It's ever forward since then. Great. Absolutely. It's and fine. congratulations to you. Uh, well, I don't she, know uh, that congratulations is the word. I think that, right. uh, you know what, it's just it's all th oh, things have fallen into place. There you yes. go. Uh, or there is the outside shot. He rejected her. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, you know, we'll just see. Well, you know, the you Asians are a very bright race. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, very race. <laughs> so you are in uh, engaged land, and you had a little, uh, you still bring your, you know, your kind of uh, single guy. Mike. We One of the boys' mentality of the show. We talked yes. about a prenup just yesterday, and you it did. was an awesome conversation. She decided she, was so <laughs> she awesome. wanted to protect her stuff, did no. she? Do you know who brought it up? Oh. I was thinking about it all right. Of course you were. I was already thinking about it. Like, <laughs> when am I going to slide this in front of her? <laughs> <laughs> My mother came to hang out with us, and she just casually, as we're having lunch, she said, what about a prenup? Is there Your a mother Spanish said word? that? Yes, it was awesome. Oh my god! It was god. awesome. Is there a Spanish oh. word for prenuptial agreement? Uh, el prenup. Okay. El prenup. Uh, el prenup. <laughs> Let, let's slow it down for a second because this is important. I realize we're doing a show right now, yes. but at the same time, I really would like to pass along some advice from uh, an elder statesman to my compatriot here, yes. Mr. Santana. Of course. Um, I'm going to communicate with you, Oscar, yes. via sound. Okay as to how you should proceed and the rate at which you should. If mm. you are having, did you say you had a positive uh, conversation yesterday? Yesterday, yes. All right, let me indicate to you through this sound how, uh, how I would like to see you proceed, all right? Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, okay. <laughs> that, that, that can be on occasion. That can be on occasion a rather fluid situation. So organic uh, and when, changing, Mike. W yes, quite fluid. Yes. When the moment is there, when mommy's not there. As a matter of fact, if it had been me, and maybe you knew your mom was going to bring this up, I might have a briefcase with me, with one under the table, ready to whip out with the pen in my hand. Andrew, That's the come way in here, please, won't you? Please, yes. thank, thank you. you. Have a seat. There we go. Thanks thank you. So you think it's a positive conversation? <laughs> okay. Well, I just need to run back to the condo and get this. Thank you. Sign it, please. Thank you. We're all done. Sign. Sign, awesome. initial yeah. sign, date, right. sign, initial. I love you now more than ever. She, uh, yeah, I can tell by her social media presence that she's extremely supportive and she seems very happy yes. and delighted and things are good. But the fact is, you know, you never know when you're going to have that little blip once in a while. They have well, Mike, and it really, get that thing signed. Really, get that thing signed right away. My mom brought it up um, and she actually, Shannon's got 
some assets of her own that Yeah, she does. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that she told Shannon that she should be she should have me sign as well. And and I, and we both looked at each other like, "Well, why not? We're not in it for this regardless." Can I ask some questions? Yes. Uh you mentioned she has uh assets of yes. her own. Does she? Oh, I want to be delicate. Her here family. Because, I mean, be I, delicate. The, the family. Ever so, the so family, delicate. family uh, left her some uh, property. Oh, okay. Yes. All right, that's good. Land. So you, yeah, you, so you don't get any of that then. Right? No, I don't. Right. Need, I don't want any of it. I don't want anything. Of course cool. not. Right, he so lives in six hundred yeah. square feet. He wouldn't have to do with yeah. land. Yeah. That's good. That's good. <laughs> you know, uh, to be honest, my wife uh, has been truly amazing with me and her assets to be perfectly honest with you, because she uh up until a couple of years ago worked full time mm-hmm. and had a really really good job and she's been she's propped me up when we have to do things like buy air conditioning you know who's yeah. you know who's on the uh the financing for the air conditioning unit that we just oh that's miss that's miss carla right there miss carla you know and good her, work by the way Mike. that's uh you want to see how she got approved for that <laughs> yeah. i realized it's not you know it's not buying a house or anything but uh <laughs> Hey, yeah. we got a new air conditioning system. Fantastic. Please, no more GoFundMe pages. Thank you. We're all set. <laughs> we're we're going to be okay. I'll uh, I'll call. Hey, Michael Mara Show listeners, trust me. I'll call on you when when the situation is dire. That's but right. for now, just keep shopping on Amazon and buying our bonus package, and we're we're okay. We're it's okay not going to be right a now. house where I think it'll most likely be a medical issue. And stand exactly. by, yeah. stand That's by right. for and that. Boy, and then and then you know and then to be honest, then you'll be helping helping Bone Carla. Bone marrow. You, you <laughs> like to do that. <laughs> you like to do that. Michael Marrow. <laughs> Bone marrow. <laughs> So, Oscar it, had a little uh, run-in with some of the listeners uh, about uh, Oscar. I just wanted to say this. It was it was concerning uh, the Aaron Andrews discussion, and Oscar got in trouble with some uh, very, very uh, angry listeners yes. about what he said about Aaron Andrews. Can I just say this? And this, this goes to Oscar or Rob or right. me or anybody. In the heat of battle, when we are trying to be entertaining, yes. okay, we are not going to say things that always they come can't out all be winners as political correctness. All right. right. Oscar, uh, you know, as far as my personal experiences with the way he treats his mother and his fiance and my wife and everybody else and my daughters. And it, like the bottom line is there's a huge difference when we come in here and flap our big stupid gums and the way we live our life. Now, does that excuse anything that's said? No. I like the fact that you call us on it, but by and large, it's important once in a while to just understand that we're doing a comedy radio show. Doing a okay? show. Yeah. And Oscar, one of the things he does on that show is he likes to get a rise out of everybody. It's his role mm-hmm. on the program. So even I and uh, and uh, you know what? And I was all ready to define him online until he said the Make America Great Again thing. And I was like, you're on your own, you dick. You are on your own, you dick. Uh, and so that was it. But it was, uh, did you enjoy that? You you know, you, you stay above the fray as best yes. you can. Well, uh, but I, I know engaged because I was up and preparing to go to school. And I said, well, this will be fun for a good five minutes. Let me engage. You got in. I know. Yes. Never got, Mike never got his shoes dirty. Just no. stopped in. <laughs> Said a few words and off. No. I said, off for these, education. Let me put these TPS reports to the side and see what the masses right. are doing. <laughs> my, my, you know, when I get into a, you know, when I get a thread like that that's uh, tackling me, it, you know, if I'm in, if you see me arrive on that thread, uh, it's not going to be pretty. You talk about him not getting his shoes dirty. You know, I'm going to have mud all the way up to my knees when yeah. I do that. I'm going to dive I, right in. I you know? slid in. And those for those of you that are w- willing to troll or, or engage, and I appreciate the feedback. Sure, I'll slide in, and if I slide in, you'll see me hit. Hide conversation right after I post because <laughs> that day is over. I've moved right. on to the rest of my day. He's on yeah. to another Oscar adventure, Mike. <laughs> and by the way, what we're talking about because people are going to say you're talking in code. The gist of it was Aaron Andrews and Oscar saying yeah. it didn't affect her career because she's hot. And that video that went out there. It didn't, it didn't hurt. <laughs> there it is. That misogynistic statement. You know, uh, here uh, this the last subject I'll uh, I'll say on the matter. Okay. Yeah. He knew how stupid it was. Okay, <laughs> that's it. Win, uh, right? <laughs> that's it. We'll uh, take You're a break right. and uh, come back with news you may not need right here on the Mike O'Mara Cold Show. <laughs> God. Hello, this is Alexa, the voice of Amazon Echo. Oscar liked me so much that he shared me with all his friends for the holidays. Tee hee. I love servicing all of Oscar's friends, and unlike that. 
Change Siri, I can pronounce compulsive. If you want to find out about all the sexiest new tech, listen to Tech 411 on the More Network and buy me through the Amazon link on MikeOmeraShow.com. Buy a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Mike Gomera Show, everybody. This portion of our program is brought to you by Sleep Number. Oh, my God. I yeah. will tell you this. I, 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 You know, there are times that I truly appreciate Sleep Number, and I, 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 I don't know how to put this the right way. I've been talking about Sleep Number for a, a long time, but I'm, I'm really going to speak from the heart here when I talk about this particular product. I don't know how. I managed to sleep pain-free two nights in a row after sitting in those little mouse chairs that we have in our house and throwing my back out. But the Sleep Number bed system, it just does. I've never had anything that I sleep on that does the job that Sleep Number does. This is a fact. This is not commercial time. This is me telling you a fact. If you suffer from low back pain like I do, the Sleep Number bed is the finest product you can get for your back. It is the absolute truth. I sleep pain free i sleep pain free i don't know how it happened but it does and it did two nights in a row on my sleep number mattress uh you know with the cold little night quill i knocked nine hours out last night nine pain free hours out when i've got a back right now that is like somebody sticking a knitting knitting needle in it it's that bad please get yourself a sleep number and do it right now uh if you do you won't regret it and i appreciate the guy over the weekend that uh, was in the store and sent me a picture of his sleep number bed it was very very nice my sleep number is an 85 carlos is a 65 last night my sleep iq score was a 95 and i feel great share uh shape rather the best sleep of your life with a sleep number mattress and sleep iq technology starting at only 1099.98 that is the best money you will ever spend no better sleep with sleep number find your sleep number setting only at a sleep number store and one near you by calling 800-511-0061 don't forget to slide to the left then slide to the right and tell them all that mike omer sent you what are you doing Rob? news <laughs> news Boo. Come on. Come on. freaking mania i working with Insane people. That's what I. Do. You're crazy <laughs> people. That's uh, not right. <laughs> uh, big story over the weekend. The whole OJ thing. Uh, yeah, the factor. Uh, the big thing with OJ. Uh, all right. Here's the deal. His house was demolished in 1998. Sometime between uh, then and 2002, a construction worker allegedly found a folding buck knife buried on the property. Now, see, I, I see folding buck knife, and I'm not familiar with those. Buck is I mean, a brand, I, normally I believe. Normally, a buck knife does not fold. You know? No, I think no, bu- buck knife is like a big, giant, like, bear knife, isn't but I, it? No, I think buck knife is actually a brand of a folding knife. Yeah, the one they showed on television looked like it folded out, Mike. Um, well, he took it to an LAPD officer who happened to be nearby. The cop was actually off-duty at the time, but he took it. Instead of turning it in, though, he kept it. Well, it's a nice souvenir. I mean, that right there, that's part of the story that I just don't get. Some sources say he thought the case was closed. Oh, wait a minute. Come on. <laughs> say he did report it, but the LAPD had no interest in it. Mm, a lot of uh, murky, unanswered questions murky, murky. here. Yeah. Either way, he's had it all this time. After his retirement in January, he decided to have it framed. Okay, now that's weird. Okay. Yeah, right there, the, the credibility on this particular dude. And he told a friend. Buck knife is a the, brand. So that might be what they're describing. So there you go. He told a friend in the robbery homicide division about it, and the guy freaked. He told his superiors, who demanded the knife, and now they're testing it for hair, fingerprints, DNA, and other biological evidence. Uh, Whether they can pull anything from it's questionable. It had been in the dirt for years. It's extremely rusted and stained, but uh, since OJ was found... Sick F. Yeah, it's weird. Frames it and puts... I mean, but put this guy up on charges. I heard he wanted the evidence number because he wanted to engrave it into a little plaque and then frame it. Oh, oh so he's like, oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, well, number. again, even if the even if the knife definitively uh, ties OJ to the murders, uh, double jeopardy, he's, uh, you know, going to be yeah. he's put on the hook jail. for it. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll see. Somebody uh, else could uh, get dragged into court, though. For instance, let's say evidence linked this OJ to OJ and uh, Nicole and Ron uh, and also AC a. Cowlings. If that happened, they, I don't they know, a lot of tried. ifs on this. But OJ's uh, this whole already thing in jail also be a for, hoax. But, but, but OJ's yeah. already in jail for stealing memorabilia. So, you know, we're okay. We're all safe. And have we'll you been watching The People vs. OJ Simpson on, uh, what is it, a and I've got a, I've got a TiVo, but so I, haven't, I. Uh, I haven't been watching good. it. So. It's really good. I watched it for is 20 it really? minutes. I said, this is the worst episode of Friends I've ever no. seen. <laughs> and then I realized it wasn't Ross. Being Ross. 
during that entire show. Yeah. But um, as far as the program's concerned, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Right. All right. Uh, I'll take. I'll try to check yeah, it out. I've well. got them. They're they're all there. <laughs> Louis C K. Uh, Louis C K. I should say sent mm-hmm. a mass email to fans asking them to watch his web series Horace and Pete. But he turned it into a plea to, to uh, for people to stop voting for Donald Trump. Uh, here's his quote. He said, please stop it with voting for Trump. It was funny for a little while, <laughs> but the guy is Hitler. He's an insane bigot. He is dangerous. Look, this is nothing that uh, this is nothing that doesn't get on his answering machine from me on a daily basis. <laughs> every I day. I say the same thing every day. Please. Uh, he says, Louis goes on to say, if you're a true conservative, don't vote for Trump. He is not one of you. He is uh, one of him. <laughs> Everything you have heard him say that you liked, if you look hard enough, you will see that he one day said the exact he is playing playing you. Now, before you accuse uh, Louis of forwarding the liberal Hollywood agenda, he says, quote, frankly, I wish the next president was a conservative only because we had Obama for eight years and we need balance. So that's from uh, Louis C.K., who uh, is an interesting guy. He is a smart guy. I think he's smart. I don't know. Of it. I just love his take yes. on things. Mm-hmm. That's what I Peyton like. Manning is retiring. The Denver Broncos have confirmed that he told GM John Elway that he's going out a winner, just like Elway did after winning his second Super Bowl for the Broncos in 99. Peyton will uh, talk about it at a news conference uh, just a couple hours from now. It was previously scheduled, but the team didn't know his decision until Saturday. He could have earned $19 million next season, which would have been his 19th in the league, but his body just couldn't do it anymore. He turns 40 later this month, and he struggled through injuries all last season. Peyton was a Super Bowl MVP in 2007, a 14-time Pro Bowl selection, and a seven-time first-team All-Pro. His teams made the playoffs 15 out of 18 seasons. That's pretty Whoa. Wow, good for him. And uh, he reached the 4,000-yard passing mark in a record 14 different seasons. I'm going to have a Budweiser. I'm going to put him in oh. for the Forehead Hall of Fame. Oh, my God. Are you oh, okay, I'm Mike? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. I uh, think he's... from now on, don't mute your sneezes because yeah. then oh, it's unexplained how you come back uh, and you go, oh, blah, 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 blah. He is uh, the NFL's all-time leader in passing yards, 71,940, and touchdown passes 539. But the most remarkable thing he did was make his way back from a bunch of serious neck surgeries to go 50-15 and with the Broncos and make two trips to the Super Bowl in four seasons. It really is amazing. Yeah. Uh, Said the NFL is still investigating whether he used illegal human growth hormone while recovering, and that is still... uh, Open ender. <laughs> and I found a folding buck knife in his locker. So <laughs> a, a new survey by AskMen.com found two percent of men really buy and wear thongs. Two percent. Oh, oh. Pony. Oh, that's it. Come on now. <laughs> You're, that's the two percent that Bernie Sanders talks about, I think. Hey. Isn't it? <laughs> These <laughs> people. They want to show their ass. <laughs> they wear tight jeans and they don't want any underwear lights. Uh, anyway, uh, so that's the type of underwear that makes them feel the most manly. That's weird. Uh, anyway, here are a few more stats in the survey. 3% of men regularly go commando. Not, I don't oh, think in this no. room. a younger man, probably. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. 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 Mm-hmm. Uh, number two, boxer briefs are the most popular type of men's underwear, followed by boxer shorts. Excuse me. Only 6% by tidy whities i will make it through this newscast and you shall i will make it through this newscast boxers number three were voted the manliest underwear thank you thank you and by the way my boxers uh from walmart yes my my hanes checkered box they have held better than any underwear i have ever purchased and i used to buy them at the expensive store. Right. I used, used to, to buy be. At Nordy's, right? Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, briefs were second at 40%. Going Commando came in third at 13%. And Long Johns and Thongs tied for last at 2%. Finally, only 46% of men wear underwear to feel sexy. Uh, yeah, my mind didn't even oh, make hold the on. chart. Yeah, this is a weird survey. Uh, they, they're tricky here. And finally, only 46%. That's half. Nearly <laughs> half, yeah. <laughs> half of men wear underwear to feel sexy. That's a lie. And my really option didn't even make the list this time. Is I that feel I re- sexy when I wear my underwear. I wrap yeah. up with an ace bandage. Am I the only one? Note to self. <laughs> to material. Not to dis- Great wicking material. Oh, my God. Keeps again. everything in place. Yeah. <laughs> the animated movie Zootopia took over the box office with $73.7 million. London has fallen. Hey, man. Debuted- <laughs> Welcome hey, to Zootopia. <laughs> Zootopia. All right. <laughs>
London has fallen, debuted in a distant second with 21.7 million. That's a little behind the original. Olympus has fallen, uh, which opened with 30.4 million dollars in 2013. Deadpool fell to third with a 16.4 million dollar weekend, but that was enough to push his three week total to more than 300 million. Zootopia mm-hmm. is the best reviewed movie of the calendar year so far. Zootopia. I think it's, what's it about? Film, right? It's uh it is a crime story that's set among animals. Uh and uh the main, the lead voice is Jason uh, Bateman. Is that it's animated. Animated. animated and Mike there are some previews that are actually laugh out loud funny. There's won't a scene go to a cartoon. With, go, go, Until the kid gets older. Won't go to a cartoon. Eh, it's Zootopia. almost time. Almost yeah. time to take him to a cartoon yeah. like Zootopia, man. Zootopia. Yeah. <laughs> And now a little something, something. This sounds crazy, but I really can't guarantee it's the craziest thing that'll happen at a Waffle House this year. Oh, no. But when I see a Waffle House story, I bring it to you people because that's because I care. The the Popo in Gainesville, Georgia, got a call <laughs> at 4 a.m. Yeah. Right away. Just for all you uh, junior broadcasters out there, okay, Waffle House, 4 a.m., you're going to get something good happening, okay? <laughs> That's the way it goes. Last Tuesday, 4 a.m. at a Waffle House in Gainesville, Georgia, apparently a clown had showed <laughs> <laughs> smoked some meth oh, no. at the counter. Oh, no. Then he did what all clowns do after they smoked meth. He locked himself in the bathroom. Yes. Mm. Good plan. The cops <laughs> arrived. They managed to get him out of the bathroom. He turned out to be a 25-year-old guy named Jay Washington. That's an and, awfully uh, highfalutin name for a clown, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Mr. Worthington, that, <laughs> Worthington. Is, cr- that is crystal meth you're smoking. Krusty here. Worthington. Uh, <laughs> Krusty Worthington. <laughs> when the cops searched his bag, they also found marijuana, mushrooms, and LSD. Oh. Way to go, Worthington. Jacob, sorry. Uh, the police report doesn't say why he was dressed like a clown. Well, come on, officers. A guy's got to make a living. Am I right, ladies? <laughs> come on now. We'll take a break. Come back with the audio vault and Rob Spiewak right here on the Michael Mara Show. Hi, Spiewak. And I'm Katie Cookie Von Herman. Here at the Cake and Cookies Broadcast Headquarters, we try to keep things hot and current. So current, in fact, that this week, Rob admits he can't wait for Spats to come back into style. And he name drops the lead accordion player of the Lawrence Welk Show. Myron Florin. Hot babies! Cookies. I have to get off of this show. <laughs> Kate and cookies. Rob and Katie. It's the Rob and Katie show. Myron Florin makes me smile too, Rob. That's I just the way him. it goes. Very talented uh, man. Mm. Welcome back to the show brought to you by Amazon. Hello, friend. How you doing? <laughs> Don't you? Why shouldn't you look good? You've been shopping through our Amazon portal. And you know, anytime you purchase something through our Amazon link, we get a tiny percentage or so. So you feel great. It doesn't cost you any extra, and it's the best and easiest way for you to support this show. (laughs) I feel sorry for those who don't shop Amazon that way. How do they sleep at night? (laughs) (laughs) They should find our Amazon link and bookmark it, and then use it every day and time they shop Amazon. Then they feel good because they just helped out their favorite podcast. Remember, if you need or want it, Amazon, ha- just go to michaelmarishow.com slash Amazon or click the Amazon button on our website or so or use the TMOS app and click on the shopping cart that is on the app or so. <laughs> then shop like you normally would. It's that simple. It means the world to us. Thanks, friend. Let's meet soon. Cup of coffee, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Let's open up the uh, audio vault for... Uh, Monday, March 7, 2016. Take it away, Rob. Hard to gauge those pauses. Uh, as you mentioned earlier, <laughs> Nancy Reagan tragically passed. Yes. She'd had a long life, but a great lady on many, many estimations. And I think what I remember... Sadly, I wouldn't use tragically. I, and I'm not trying to be... No, I understand, I understand. Semantically, I would just You're say right. sadly passed. Tragically would be Nancy uh, Reagan 50 years ago, you know, in a helicopter. That that would be tragic. I stand corrected. And I think Thank she you. was the only first lady to ever appear on the show Different Strokes. And uh, remember, it was to promote yeah, her. Say no to drugs. Just say no. And this is her actual PR. As a kid of the 80s, I remember this very clearly. There's a big, wonderful world out there for you. It's exciting and stimulating and rewarding. Don't cheat yourselves out of this promise. Say yes to your life. And when it comes to drugs and alcohol, just say no. Now, you will say 
by playing that, I am grief poaching. I'm not grief poaching. No. I'm reporting a story. So interesting that she was on that program and three of the main characters mm-hmm. had drug problems. Exactly. Mm-hmm. exactly. Right? What I got from uh, the whole coverage Tragic. of Nancy Reagan was that I wish for more civility among our uh, both Democrat yeah. and Republican. And I she was see boxed when she was younger. Oh, uh-huh. Hellcats of the Navy, yeah. I didn't know A that. movie actress. Yeah. Yeah. She was a movie know. actress, absolutely. The grief poacher who wins the award is Sunday night when Larry King right away called into Wolf Blitzer on CNN. Now, um, I, there's a pair. I want you oh, to hear dear. this, and then there's yeah, a couple really, things. Yeah, really, talk about competent <laughs> one and competent two. There's a couple things you need to focus on that we'll look at after this. First of all, Larry was so excited to call in he, A, did not clear his throat in advance, <laughs> and also, at the end of it, the last thing he says, and I'm, I have this image in my mind, I think that Sean, his wife, must walk into the room because he just the blue, talking the wolf blitzer. Oh, by the <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll Let hear Let me just say you'll this also. It, yeah. th- this is uh, after the Republican debate as well. Wolf blitzer, Useless. long overdue that he started getting crap uh, on you know media analysis, yeah, because Wolf Blitzer has been you know essing the bed for a long time. I'm really glad to see people are finally paying attention to his monotone, mindless droning, where he doesn't really like go with the flow. And I'll tell you something: if you're the people at CNN, take Jake Tapper aside and say, Jake, you're the man. Because that guy completely has his act together. Mm-hmm. He is a- absolutely well-prepared, and I love me, the Jake Tapper. I'd like to see them uh, elevate Jake and tell Wolf that uh, maybe it's time to, you know, go hang out with Larry. Well, here's yeah. ex-CNNer Larry King calling in to the Wolf Blitzer program. Well, that day at the George Washington University Center when Reagan came out for the Brady Law, and then when she came out oh, strong for funding for Alzheimer's, Nancy was a fighter. <laughs> Any final thoughts, uh, Larry, before I let you go yeah. uh, about Nancy and uh, her oh. passing? I'll miss her. I love socializing with her. I love gossiping with her. I love talking with her. And uh, I'm, I'm glad she isn't around. If there's one thing glad about this, she isn't around to see the end of this political year. Because she was very upset by it. This must be tough for you, Wolf. I, I, I well, feel. Larry, thanks as usual Listen. for joining us. I know this is a sad time for you, uh, Larry. Uh, Larry King joining us from Los Angeles. Thank you. Talking to Wolf. <laughs> so let's hear the end of that one more time. And all I can imagine is that even without asking Sean, he's I'm. Even though you're a primary contributor to it. I'm going to call CNN without telling Sean. And so Sean walks into the room and looks at him like, who are you talking to? And so while on CNN, he says... Talking to Wolf. (laughs) Talking to Wolf. (laughs) Just talking to him. And uh, then also, Mike, I know you'd want to hear an instant replay of this. Nancy was a (laughs) fighter. He's got the same cold I do, I believe. That's the way that goes. That's why That's why I turned down my microphone. Thank you very much. <laughs> While we're talking about people that have been hanging on too long, Larry... And Can you I play it so- one more time? Can you play Nancy's a fighter? Nancy was a fighter. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. It really might be time for Jerry Lewis to hang it up. He posted oh, no. a video because he relaunched his Facebook page because oh, it wasn't God. working. But here's oh, the thing. God. This is the I'm take they used. be on a porch in Maine, boys. God. <laughs> Mike, this is the take they chose to use. Who doesn't even sound like Jerry anymore, <laughs> refers to it as his face page. Hi, I'm Jerry Lewis, and I'm very happy to be on my face page so that all the people that have pages can see my page. Because the page that I had first wasn't working. But this one, I guess, will because I was so anxious on the Facebook page with all these terrific people that I never met. But I'm hoping to meet them all sooner or later. <laughs> hurry, uh, Jerry's a fighter. Nancy was a fighter. <laughs> Time's a fleeting. <laughs> and let us close with the fact that there are more and more men trouble in the bedroom. A recent study claims that one-third of all men suffer from premature ejaculation. Mm. (laughs) But they don't suffer as much as one-third of all women. (laughs) (laughs) That's your magic audio vault. Have a great Monday, everybody.
Oh, my. Another Michael Mara show has come and gone. She's a fighter. Uh, be sure and join <laughs> us again for... <laughs> 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 now you're going to make me do it. Now you're going to make me do it. <laughs> be sure and join us again for more fun and more thrills at MikeOmeraShow.com. If you want to correspond with the show with a letter or a package, send it to TMOS Box 2796, Leesburg, Virginia, 20177. To get your message or birthday request into the Wednesday mailbag, send it along to Rob at MikeOmeraShow.com. Include two Bs, and we may get to it on Thursday. <laughs> the Mike O'Mara Show relies on your word of mouth, so tell a friend or family member about TMOS and make sure they get it, too. For Rob Spiewak, and Oscar Santana, along with Pony Boy, Matt Bloom, and the entire gang of interns. Mike O'Mara inviting you to join us again for another episode of the Mike O'Mara Show. Bye-bye. So long. Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye. One last thing. Please remember that MikeO'MaraShow.com slash Amazon is the best way to shop for anything and everything. So, shop Amazon and get there through our website. Always open at MikeO'MaraShow.com slash Amazon. Now, go in peace. Nancy was a fighter. <laughs> Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. <laughs>